A Sky News investigation has revealed how a town in the New South Wales Northern Rivers had to rely on a theme park's helicopter from the Gold Coast to deliver vital supplies at the heart of the flood emergency. Without any major support from the state and federal governments, the Mayor of Ballina says she had no choice but to lead the flood response herself and thank locals for supporting each other. Adam Walters has this report. It took a Gold Coast theme park to make the state and federal bureaucracies look like a two-ring circus. It is a circus. Government appears to be very much like a circus. And I wonder who is running that circus. No With not a single army helicopter in sight, the SeaWorld chopper flew from Queensland to the rescue of stricken residents in northern New South Wales. The Ballina Mayor gave permission for the crew to land on a local cricket ground. She was forced to grab the reins in responding to the height of the flooding emergency. We can't be left out again, we can't be caught out like this again because some of the stories of rescue, and my family included, uh, have been very traumatising. The SeaWorld crew shuttled between Ballina and the Gold Coast all day, delivering vital supplies including baby formula, food and medicines. Look, that was remarkable, wasn't it? And you know what? That was executed like that. Fast. There was no red tape. The Mayor says the tightly managed local response overcame the confusion created by too many sources of information. I couldn't agree more with that comment. I think it has become too scattered and we're seeing that with just the recovery centres being set up. Uh, a simple phone number where people can just... The, the phone number can be advertised. Communication is everything. And we saw that in the very beginning when all our comms went down without internet. It hampered rescue operations. It hampered everything. Locals were relieved and grateful for the council's strong and swift support but baffled by the absence of those meant to lead the disaster response. No sign of anybody else, though, from uh, go other government agencies. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? There was no other government agency. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a laugh, actually. And the mayor um, <laughs> took it upon herself. Sorry. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of the army and the military around, so all we've seen is just people coming from each and every street to help out, which has been awesome. As more than 600 homeless people in Ballina set out to rebuild their lives from this rubble, they say there's no time to be angry, although there was no disguising their disappointment in what they described as a slow response from the authorities. But they are hopeful of some form of decent compensation. Or at the very least, one suggested a substantial tax deduction. Pretty sure my taxpayers' money pays for the military pays for other people's wages and those other people were nowhere to be seen. Dollars has always helped but dollars is not going to buy what people have lost so it'd just be good to see more people, the government come here and help out and not rely so much on the community to do everything. The Mayor finally got to talk with New South Wales Resilience Commissioner Shane Fitzsimmons late last week about major financial support for rebuilding to make up for the lack of funding for prevention. That is what, exactly what we need. We need to be able to, to maximise those grants now, put in um, our mitigation measures in our culverts, raise our evacuation routes. There's work to be done and we need it done as soon as we can. Ballina Shire also plans to approach the federal government for $20 million to turn its modelling for flood mitigation into a belated reality to protect a town that has had to save itself. In Ballina, Adam Walters, Sky News.